We got next screaming Israel ride. Damning to my verbs, standing on the curb, damning of the word, damaging my nerves, cannon for the purge. I go Michael Bad, flow crazy like a psychopath, like a rifle blast. Try your ass, get your idol smashed. Let me go metal male, and then become woman of the year. This this place. And the majority of the earth will not accept that. The majority of the planet earth would not accept it. Right? We go to Africa, we go to Asia, we go to the Middle East. They're not accepting a man saying that he's a woman, right? They're not accepting same sex marriage. So let's see, we can just start there, right? They're not accepting these things. They're not accepting bestiality. You know bestiality is legal in much of the states in America. Texas is legal in Texas, right? It's legal to have sex with a damn animal right here in the great Lone Star State. Right? So th yeah. these are the stuff that I was saying. How is this a right? Right. Now number 35. Right? And now we're going to see pursuant to the Bible if this is a right. With just one, just one point. Other than number two point, let's go to a Well, I think the reason that I think that it's because the reason that we have these examples that we're talking about is because we were set when we came here, when we were saved from Britain. The reason that we did that is because we were set people with this. We're tired of tyranny and stuff like that, so we want everybody to have as much freedom as they want. So with that comes its cons. Not everybody believes in religion. I say I want it. I don't want to force somebody to be Christian because I want to want somebody that's Muslim, so I'm forced me to do that. So I have to respect that boundary. I'm going to do it right, so I have to respect it as a person. The reason that we have things like that, why we have things like that, is because that's what our foundation is built on. It is problematic. us and other diplomatic countries, I mean, the democratic countries. Um, you say everybody has freedom to There's limits on those people's freedom. Like what we have is we have like uh, freedom of speech. We have on everything except human rights violence. That's why a lot of countries can't say certain things. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that's why in the United States, we are the greatest country in the world. The question is this, though, right? For a country that's supposed to be so free, why does it have the most prisoners in the whole world? The freest country that has the most people in jail. Does it, does, 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 in, in, in England, does law enforcement unlawfully murder people? No, they don't. You know why? You know why? They don't have guns. They don't have guns? No. They don't have guns. Well, that brings me to a good point. That's why England and all these other countries that don't have gun rights, that's why like ISIS and the people attacking them. Because if the, when they ISIS, come here... Is, do you believe them? ISIS is attacking... White countries? No. It's a good thing. They're, 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 they're not. not. What does ISIS do? Okay, we're Muslim people. And Muslims are, are attacking? Even when they go into movie theaters and you they talk just... about extremists. Oh, oh, oh. Well, yes. you, you mean like that white boy in Denver, Colorado? It wasn't a Muslim. What about the one in, in the church in, in, in South Carolina? Oh, no, it happens with You see that? No, so that's not Muslims doing any attacking. All the attacks that are happening in America are white people. Right. Yeah. And so I said the other countries, the reason that it doesn't happen to us as much. Why? Like Ariana Grande's concert, uh -huh. we've grown up. The reason it doesn't what, happen to you as much as What about the white man shooting up the country concert in Las Vegas? Everybody was standing in there's the more, middle of nowhere. You, you, up in a hotel there's more, no there's more mass shootings in America than there is in that place. Okay. Okay. You know, okay, okay. So, so watch this, right? And I'm, I'm going to show you how what you're saying is BS. If I'm a Muslim extremist, right, I get into America, and I and I truly just want to, like, kill Americans, I can get a gun. I'm in Texas. I can get a dumbass gun. I can go into, uh, what's this, uh, North Park Mall. I can just start shooting people. They kill me. So what? He's a Muslim extremist. He's ready to die. He gets 70 birds when he died in his damn brain. So that shows it's actually really easy to do here. Yeah, no, and the fact why. that it doesn't happen here actually shows that there's not some extremist agenda that's going around committing terror acts. That's why because it would be very to easy to do it. I don't but listen. Exactly. Listen, guns ain't the problem. People are the damn problem. I I firmly am a 
uh, 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 believe in the Second Amendment. Yeah. I don't have any problem with people's right to bear arms. If you go to a place like Iraq, Iraq, everybody can have an AK-47 if they want. Walk around with the AK and that's great. And, hey, perfect. I have no issue with that. My issue is the genocidal white people that get a hold of them. Right. That's that's genocidal. Right. Who's committed all the genocide? Well, the majority of the genocide. White people. Let me ask you a quick question. Where have white people been and not committed the genocide? Where have you been and not committed a genocide? Yeah. What what colony have you built that you didn't commit a genocide? Well, you can't call it. Go ahead. This is book of Genesis, chapter 27, verse 40. Uh -huh. And by thy sword <laughs> shalt thou live. This is what God gave to your people. And you're going to live by the sword. Right? But if you live by the sword, what are you going to do? Die by the sword. And shalt serve thy brother. Uh -huh. And that shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion. That thou shalt break his yoke. The time of the dominion, your dominion is now. This is where you guys have the reign of the earth. And thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. That's right. Now you live about a sword during your dominion. But your, how your dominion is going to end is your own self is going to take yourself out. Russia is going to take America out. That's what we call white on white blood. That's how this whole thing is going. That's going to be the grand finale of this. It's going to be Russia versus America. Read. God, this book of Psalms, chapter 7, verse 15. Uh -huh. He made a pit and digged it. You see that? Go ahead. <laughs> and it's falling into the ditch. You guys made a pit and digged it with your weapons technology, your advances in that, and you fell into your own ditch. Right? And it's falling into the ditch which he made. Because now you got somebody bigger and better than you with better rocket power than you. Who's getting ready to come up with this? You see what I'm saying? So America has dug the pit. Well, you don't think so? Okay, so why is I've Russia developing hypersonic go. missiles? But we we oh. stuff all the time. A lot of countries do stuff. We haven't used. We haven't even used nuclear weapons in entire years. Of course, because you haven't gone up against somebody. You needed nuclear weapons against. When you invaded Korea, Vietnam, or you didn't need nukes for that. You see what I'm saying? Russia got a hypersonic boy for you. I want you to know that. You know what that means? Hypersonic. That traveling. I'm talking about like three times the speed of light. Is, this is some Star Wars shit they got over there. I'm letting you know that now. They not playing with they. You, I, you, I'm not. That's like me saying, all right, I'm about, I'm about to go get a silencer for my nine, and I don't, I'm not planning to shoot somebody. Why well, I got a silencer? Why well, I got a suppressor on it? Right, right. So I can shoot somebody. Right. <laughs> I want to shoot it. Right. right. So that's why. Right. <laughs> point. You got a point. <laughs> Like, oh, yeah, you got right. a point? No, he ain't got no point. Okay, go ahead. Lamentations 5 and 21. Rejoice and be glad. <laughs> Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, uh -huh. that dwells in the land of Uz. Uh -huh. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. This is what's going to happen. The cup is going to... Basically, this is, this is it in short. God has been passing a cup around, right? What is the cup? Judgment. People being destroyed, having to go through hardships on a severe level. Whole nations of people. He's passing a cup around. You guys have been in that cup for some people. The cup, you're going to get it. That's all. Everybody's been getting it. So the time is just going to be your time soon. Read. Thou shalt be drunken uh -huh. and shall make thyself naked. You're going to be so drunk off what's in this cup. You ever seen somebody drunk come out their clothes, running around naked because they drunk? That's how, exactly, that's how shit makes them wasted. You're going to be so wasted off of what's in this cup as a people. It's going to be like you're naked, drunk, passed out in the street. That's what's coming. Go ahead, read. God, this book of Jeremiah, chapter 49, verse 12. Uh -huh. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup. It's our judgment. Uh, uh, no, it's not our judgment to drink of the cup. Read. Have assuredly drunk it. We drank of it. Read. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? So if it happened to us, God chosen people, what do you think God going to do? He already gave you an inferior physiological and bio biological makeup. He's, what do you think he's really doing? He's already wasted your pigmentation. What do you think the rest of what he's going to do to you? That's the question, right? Read. Thou shalt not go unpunished. Thou shalt you, you're not going to go unpunished. Your people, not just you as a person. Yeah, people, I know. I, you guys have an inevitable punishment yeah. that you're going to have to meet. That's right. What they call a karmatic debt. You got it. It's the way around it, right? Read. 
but thou shalt surely drink of it. That's what right. you gonna surely drink of it. All right, Joe. That was a All fun right. ass talk. That was a long ass talk. Sure, sure. Yeah, Definitely learn some stuff. Definitely learn some stuff. Where do you want? South. No, no, you good. You good. I got to sit here. I'm going to eat my damn sandwich. <laughs> See you guys later. I'm on a chair diet. All right. But give, me, give me John 16 and 2, though. Because earlier when you got up here, I was going to go into the same thing. And they, I got it on camera. I made sure it was on camera. They said that 100 million Native Americans dying was for the benefit of humanity. <laughs> yes, he said that. He said it. So then I said, okay, so was it for the benefit? Was it for the benefit of the so-called black man? No. Well, what about the aborigines of Australia? No. What about the original inhabitants of Europe? No. So what he so means no is, is his benefit. Hey, look, look. So no humans actually. Benefit. No. The, the devil that the Bible speaks of benefited from it. That's right. Right. But give me John 16 too. Is that they shall come with it? Yeah, get that. Right. Because this is this is it's crazy. This was the first scripture I was going to bring out in camp, and then I asked them if they had a question. And they came up with that, and this ties sure. in that spiritual, right? Because watch what this scripture is about to say. God, this is the book of John, chapter sixteen, verse two. Uh -huh. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Uh -huh. Yea, the time cometh. The time cometh when what? That whosoever killeth you. That whosoever killeth you think what? Will think that he doeth God's service. See, they think they're doing God's service by killing us. They think, oh, we we kill hundred million Native Americans for the benefit of everybody else. That's not for the benefit of everybody else, the goddamn devil. Right. But this, these devils want to come up here and just spew this. It's, it's manifest destiny because I asked him, and this is how backwards. That one devil, I'm not going to, I pray, oh my, I pray the worst life for him. I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray misery and curses. I pray he has a horrible life. I hope it's a long and painful life. I hate him with a perfect hatred. That's right. Psalm 139, that was an evil, evil, evil I, I hate that man. I hate him with everything I got, okay? Huh. Because he said, this is, how, this is the most backwards devil I've ever met. I have this, the displeasure. Let me tell you real quick. The other one, the curly one, this devil, right? Which he's still the devil. Just because he recognizes, again, yeah, like yeah, I said, that's right, that's right. he recognizes he got a black stepdad. So it's somebody who's been introduced to his life who he cares about. And he sees him going through it and him schooling him. So he naturally, but it's not like he wakes up and just cares about black people. Yeah. Right, right. He has a bias now because of this. Come. That doesn't make him not the devil just because he recognizes what devils do. Come. That's right. And just to add on to that, even my grandma, she said she never really thought about racism and stuff until I was born. Right. My white grandma, yes, she told me. I never really thought about it, but when you were now, born. Yeah, now here I care about it. Now, right. now she has, she has some interest in it because I'm her grandson, right? But um, before, he, he, one of the things he said is, because um, I asked him about the border and what's going on in the border. He says, this is what he said. This is so crazy to me. He said that immigrants should have the same rights as the European colonizers in 1600. Oh. So I said, okay, cool. So we should, they should have the right to come and take America back and basically recolonize America. Well, no, because we have laws in place, and if they do that, we fight them. Do the Indians have laws? You see what I'm saying? But this is just this just shows you how much of the devil they are. Yeah, get Psalm 139. Give me uh, Isaiah 42. So. Do not I hate them, O oh Lord. Go ahead. That hate thee. And guess what? The so-called white man, he hates God. So what do we do? We hate the so-called white man. Now again, it's, it's coming out here that highways and byways just about oh, calling the white man the devil. No, we're also supposed to preach repentance to our people. But there's a time and a place for everything. Okay? And right now, it, that's based on what them two devils came up and said. It's a time to condemn the so-called white man and call the devil that he is. All right. Go ahead. And am not I agree with those that rise up against thee. Uh -huh. And how has this how has this white man rose, risen up against the most high? By going against God's children. Right. You proclaimed war against the supreme being by proclaiming war against his children. Right? But give me Isaiah 40 and 2 real quick. God. Because we also got to understand this. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 2. Uh -huh. Speak ye comfort, comfort, comfortably to Jerusalem. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to speak. Comfortably to Jerusalem. Why? Because we haven't been receiving no damn comfort in this country for the past 400 years. So we have to teach comfort. Why? Go ahead. And cry unto her uh -huh. that her warfare is accomplished. It's, her warfare is accomplished. It's over. We're soon coming to the end days of America, man. That's right. We're soon coming to the time where the so-called white man is brought low and we're brought back on the pedestal in which we belong. We're soon coming to a time when we will reign as kings and princesses on the earth. Go ahead. That her iniquities is pardoned. Uh-huh. Yeah. Her whose iniquity is pardoned? 
her iniquity is pardoned. Israel's iniquity is going to be pardoned. Go ahead. For she hath received of Yahweh's hand uh -huh. double. She has what? Received of Yahweh's hand double. Israel, God's chosen people, give me first Peter 4 15, have received double. Go ahead. For all her sins. So we received double for all, our, all of our sins. So what the hell makes you damn, you Edomites and you other nations think you're not going to get it bad too? If, if the God's chosen people, his own children, receive double, what makes you think you're not going to get it? Second Exodus 5. 17? Okay, first Peter 4 17. And then give me Second Exodus 5 and uh, 26. Or sorry, no, no, give me uh, Life Part 7. Give me that first Peter 4. First Peter 4, verse 17. For the time has come, the judgment must begin at the house of God. Uh -huh. Jump to verse 18. Verse 18. Uh -huh. And if the righteous sacredly be saved. Bring that in scarcely. And if the righteous scarcely be saved. If the righteous scarcely, they're barely going to make it. Go ahead. Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Where's the ungodly and the sinner appear? Good. If the righteous are barely going to make it, how the hell is the so-called white man and the rest of the ungodly think they're going to make it? Right. If the, if the elect are barely going to make it, you think you're going to make it? Right. How foolish is that? Go ahead. Okay. In this book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 5, verse 42. Uh -huh. And he said unto me, I will liken my judgment unto a ring. See, that's what these those two boys, right? Those two white boys, those two devils, they don't understand. God likens his judgment unto a ring. Okay? Everything has a everything comes back around. Man. Go ahead. Like as there is no slackness of the last, even so there is no swift swiftness of the first. Why? Because the most high is long suffering. He has waited for your sins to accumulate, man. Give me second Maccabees, uh, the sixth chapter. Go ahead. so crazy man these dudes that dude literally tried to sit here and justify colonialism he just sat there and tried to basically say yeah there's a hundred million people getting murdered and how many however many rapes right all kinds of terror that was going on the worst crime in human history which has happened to uh black hispanics native americans that's right he said that well it's not no big deal that it's beneficial what's i'll tell you what's going to be beneficial when the so-called white man is wiped off the face of the planet earth that's going to be beneficial for the planet earth all the animals, give me, hold on, what you got? Give me Isaiah 14. Um, hold on, Isaiah 14. And you guys like make me six. I think it's like 12. Yeah. It gets to the point. Fine. This is the book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 6, verse 14. For not as with other nations whom the Lord patiently forbear to punish, till they become to the fullness of their sins, so deal it be with us. Read it again. Fine, verse 14. For not as with other nations, not as with other nations, go ahead, whom the Lord patiently forbear to punish. So he'll wait, he'll wait, he'll forbear to punish you, he'll wait, and he'll keep watching you go off and off and off and go ahead. Till they become to the fullness of their sins. Till they come to the fullness of their sins, go ahead. So dealeth he with us. So he dealeth he with us. Now give me Revelation 18. Uh, uh, this is a reason to heaven. Okay, I have to Right? Get that. Revelation 18 is sins of worship of heaven. Revelation chapter 18 and verse, verse, uh, verse 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven. Her sins have reached unto heaven. That's the most high patiently forbearing and waiting for America's sins to come to its full to its fullness. So it could come with a grand destruction. When have we ever heard about an entire area the size of America just being completely obliterated and rendered uninhabitable? Right. We never have. The Most High has patiently wait for America to accumulate so we can have a grand finale type destruction. Go ahead. And the Most High have remembered her iniquity. Yeah, the Most High remembers her iniquities. But guess what? The so-called white men, they don't care about their iniquities. They, they obey them their iniquities. But give me, um, give me what I want. Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14 and 7. Uh -huh. The whole earth is at rest. Yeah, the whole earth is going to be at rest when America is destroyed. Go ahead. And it's quiet. And it's quiet. Because remember, he asked... Um, would you rather live back then or right now in America? Are you kidding me? I'd rather live back then. I wouldn't have to worry about some so-called white man coming and raping everybody. I wouldn't have to worry about, uh, um, am I going to be able to eat some damn clean food? Am I going to be able to eat something that's not been genetically modified? 
You see what I'm saying? Am I going to be able to drink some water that I ain't been tampered with? Right. I'm going to be able to live in harmony. Go ahead. They break forth get you sing. Uh -huh. The whole earth is going to be just at peace. Finally. Go ahead. Yay. The fir trees rejoice at thee. Yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee. Why? Because, you see, this is why the law of God is so perfect and we need to live by it. Because the law of God says when you go into another land, even when you're going to war, you don't cut down the trees of the place you're invading. Because how else are you going to eat, dummy? Huh? What are you going to eat? Where, did, yeah, where, does, where does oxygen come from? The trees. But the so-called white man, he's such an idiot. Hold that. Give me Jeremiah 51 28. Or 25, rather. But he's such an idiot, he's going to cut down the very things that he needs to survive. That's why the whole earth is going to be at rest and the fir trees are going to be at peace. Because they're not going to have to work. What's going to tell you? Go ahead. Says, Yay, the fir trees rejoice at thee, uh -huh. and the cedars of Lebanon say, Saying what? Since thou art laid down. Since you're laid down, since America's no more, no feller is come up against us. No one who, that's a that's someone who cuts trees. There's no no one who's going to go and do and commit crazy acts of deforestation has come up against us. That's what the whole earth is going to be uh, rejoicing for. God. The whole the earth is waiting for Israel to get right. That's right. That's why you, you walk down the street. I remember every time I look into a little dog's eyes, that's being. Uh, walks by a so-called white person. I can just look in the dog's eyes like, please just repent, Israel. Just get right, man. I'm sick of being like this. The whole earth is just waiting. The whole earth is just sick of these so-called white people. And it's not just the so-called white people. The whole earth is sick of the heathen rule. Because when the righteous bear the rule, the, uh, the people rejoice. All right, the animals rejoice. But since the so-called white man has come, and that devil, that devil tried to say Native Americans were uh, exterminating animals too because they were hunting buffalo. So because you hunt some buffalo to eat, what, how many times will Native Americans, have you ever seen a depiction of them hunting, they go and slaughter every buffalo? No, they take what they need and they get on. Right. Whereas a so-called white man, right, who is the devil that the Bible speaks that's, of, that's and a so-called right. white woman who is also the devil that the Bible speaks of, that's right. will go and kill because there's something, they're insatiable. They can't have enough. They have to keep killing and killing and killing and raping and murdering and destroying. They can't, that's how they get off, man. That's how they have pleasure. See, we have pleasure in serving the Most High God and doing what He wants us to do. The so-called white man has pleasure in doing everything that's contrary to the Most High God. He has pleasure in wickedness. That's why he has something called killing for sport. Sport, when you look it up, is synonymous with entertainment or fun or enjoyment. So what does a white man do? He kills for fun. That's a, a good day for A good day for us is kicking at the crib with some family or something, you know what I mean? Maybe sitting on something happy. The white man wants to go out, and you know when they go hunt, they go wake up hella early, you right. know what I mean? Wake up at some ungodly hour, put on all that madness, and go and start murdering God's tricks. That's a good name for them. Because that's why the Bible said there's two manner of people in, in, in the womb. In right. Two totally different kind of people, two polar opposites of each other. So read that, Jeremiah 51. Jeremiah 51. Uh-huh, in uh, 25. Yeah, and then give me uh, Revelation 11, 18. Where we got Revelation chapter 11, verse 18. Uh -huh. And the nations were angry, uh -huh. and, the, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, uh -huh. and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets. See, there's a, a reward coming to the prophets. Right now, you think we're just a bunch of this downtrodden people who are high on drugs, killing each other over damn colors and shoes. But we're the servants and prophets of the Most High God, and our reward is in heaven right now. Okay, I don't want a reward in this wicked society. Right. This place ain't going to be on, uh, on earth for much longer. I want a reward in a, in a kingdom that is everlasting, that is reigned by who the Lord and calls Jesus Christ, when they be shy, right? That is a kingdom that is in, made in righteousness, man. I don't want my reward in this disgusting, sinful kingdom. I don't, want my, I don't want my reward in my enemy's land. I want my reward when I get to see my people uh, succeed. When I when I succeed, I don't want to see my people. That's how I understand you Negroes to the NBA and NFL. How you just get to you ball out and pop champagne. You, all, you know what I mean? Your, your, your folks back home, they ain't living right. I want to see my people make it, man. That's what I want to see. Go ahead. And to the saints, and then that fear thy name, small and great. And it's a cut for the name. You need to know the name. Go ahead. And should us destroy them. And should us what? Destroy them. Forgive them. Destroy them. Let bygones be bygones. Destroy them. Be friends with them. Destroy them. Destroy them. Which destroyed the earth. Which destroyed the earth. So God is going to destroy those who destroy the earth. That begs the question. 
who has gone and destroyed the earth? Right. The Chinese man ain't gone and destroyed the earth. Right. The Japanese man ain't gone and destroyed the earth. Okay, the damn Vietnamese ain't gone and destroyed the earth. So-called black man is spanking Native American. We surely haven't gone and destroyed the earth. Right. Okay, so who does that leave? When you when you go and just do it by process of elimination, you can clearly identify that the so-called white man, woman, and child have gone around and destroyed the earth. Right? Look at America. Look how this place has disgusting and polluted this place is, man. But before it was a it was a plush place. Well, uh, uh, not a wasteland, slack. It was a plush land. Now it's turned about to, it turned to a wasteland. The Bible says it was once like the Garden of Eden. But now it's gonna turn into a into goddamn Sodom and Gomorrah. Now read that. Uh, Revelation 20, 25. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain. Oh what? Destroying mountain. So God is against the destroying mountain. When you look at this destroying mountain, it's Babylon. Babylon is a destroying mountain. Go ahead. Say it's the Lord. Uh -huh. Which destroyed all the earth. Which does what? Destroyed all the earth. Which destroyed all the earth. How did America destroy all the earth? By going and bombing Nagasaki and Hiroshima. By going and invading and colonizing all kinds of places. Why do you think people in South Africa speak English? Huh? Why do you think people in South Africa and Australia speak goddamn English? Which comes from England. Huh? People in a whole other side of the planet Earth, Australia, on its own island, basically, speak English, which comes from England, which is in Europe. Because they've gone around destroying the Earth and forcing their ideology on everybody else. Right. Go ahead. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee. He's going to stretch out his hand upon thee. What does that mean? Is God going to reach out his hand up? Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on, buckaroo. Come on, America. Let's get it together. No, he's going to destroy you, man. That's right. Go ahead. And roll thee down from the rock. And do what? And roll thee down from the rock. So you're going to be rolled down from the rock. Meanwhile, you're going to be utterly obliterated. Right. America is going to be blown to smithereens. That's right. That's right. Thus said the Holy Bible. And it right. deserves it. And no country is more deserving of getting blasted to damn the Stone Age than America. Okay? Yeah. This is the most wicked, sinful kingdom in existence. Right. And it must be destroyed. It must be destroyed. Go ahead. And will make thee a burnt mountain. Will make thee what? A burnt mountain. America is going to be a burnt. Is this now? This is how stupid. You got people who uh, who take the Bible literal every single time. Is this? Is there going? Are we going to pour gasoline on some mountain and light it? You know what I mean? Ignite it? Or is it maybe the burnt mountain? No. It's talking about a kingdom. Right. But America is going to be a burnt mountain. It's going to be destroyed, man. And Lord willing, Yahweh Rajasah, we get to see that day. We All get right. to see America get burnt up. We get to see the fall of our enemies. We get to see the return of the Messiah. We get to see the upliftment of the so-called black and Spanish Native American in the uh, the downtroddenness of our enemy. We got next screaming Israel rise. Jamming to my verbs, standing on the curb, famine of the word, damaging my nerves, cannon for the purge. I go Michael bad, flow crazy like a psychopath, like a rifle blast. Try your ass, get your idol smashed. White Jesus, take that pen and off. Day of Pentecost in the synagogue, I've been a boss. Every minute cost, and I got the dinner sauce. They call me Pace Picante. They put beef on my plate, and I ate the entree from the seat of Jacob. I don't need a Jacob or a Rolex. Accurate passages in the papyrus in the codex. Bohemian Grove sacrifice to the Alamo. Like pretty soon, it's just treading.